Hi guys, welcome to The Sense of Sci-Fi, the show where we look at the most recognizable sounds in sci-fi throughout the years and dig into the artists, synths, and techniques that were used to create them. In today's episode, we're going to look back at one of the OG synth creators, how Bach was used to bring synthesizers into the mainstream, Wendy Carlos, and her groundbreaking original score for the movie Tron in 1982. Wendy Carlos was born in Rhode Island in 1939. She later attended Brown University where she studied music and physics. Then, after graduating, Carlos went on to study musical composition at Columbia University in NYC. She was introduced to Robert Moog at one of the first AES conferences, and that was the first time she had contact with the Moog Modular Synthesizer. She went on to say that their long friendship was a perfect fit, as Bob Moog was a creative engineer who spoke music, and she was a musician who spoke science. Carlos went on to work as a mastering engineer at Gotham Studios in NYC, but she never lost interest in the Moog Modular system, and was soon able to get her first custom system from Moog directly, with the promise that she would create a demo album for the synth. Bob Moog definitely ended up getting some great value out of that deal, being that Carlos would go on to produce one of the most significant albums in synthesizer history, Switched on Bach. <laughs> So what you're listening to isn't actually music from Wendy Carlos' album. Of course, I can't use that for copyright reasons, and actually, her stuff is pretty tough to find as it's not on any streaming platforms. You actually need to go out and buy the physical album. Can you believe that not too long ago that's what we all had to do if we wanted to listen to music? Anyways, the music that we're listening to is actually a recreation that I did using the Make Noise Modular system in the style of Switched On Box. I can tell you that even with the benefit of MIDI and my DAW, this was still a tedious process requiring lots and lots of tracks. I can't even imagine how tough it was to put together when she had to play everything in by hand and record it on tape. Keep in mind that like the make noise that I used, the Moog synth was monophonic, so none of the notes in the piece could overlap, even on the release of the tone. So some very creative arranging was definitely needed to get it done. Needless to say, the album was a great success and went on to sell millions of copies worldwide. This really put synthesizers on the map as a viable mainstream musical instrument. The early Moog modular systems were all made by hand, and honestly, they're still all made by hand. But they had this innovative touch-sensitive keyboard which made them more accessible for the musicians at the time. Carlos Moog's system consisted of... Eh, well, it consisted of a lot of things. I was honestly going to go through all the modules, but it'd take me 30 minutes to do that, and I wanted to keep this video at a reasonable length. I'll leave a link to Wendy's site where there's a breakdown of the modules if you want to check it out. After her success with Switched on Bach, Carlos caught the attention of Stanley Kubrick, who hired her to score two of his most iconic films, Clockwork Orange and The Shining, both of which have very distinct sounds. Finally, Carlos went on to score the truly iconic sci-fi classic, that of course being Tron in 1982. Who's your user? Forget it, Mr. High and Mighty Master Control! You are making me talk! Suit yourself. <laughs> Carlos used the Moog Modular heavily in most of her work, and Tron really pushed the boundaries in combining synthesizers with the classic orchestra to create a fresh and unique sound. Joseph Trepanesi built on these foundations in his compositions and orchestrations for the more recent installations in the franchise. I made a video about that if you're interested in seeing more. Thanks so much for watching this episode of The Synths of Sci-Fi. I'd like to do more of these, so please leave me a comment if there are any iconic sounds you would like me to feature. And if you like this video, please consider supporting the channel by hitting those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you all in the next video. All the best.